Hello students, this is Swati Deshpande teacher. Today I will be taking one more important but relatively easy topic from 8th standard scholarship mathematics, equations in one variables. Okay, so let's begin right away. Students, first sum will appear on your screen. Some guavas and apples were purchased at the rate of rupees 3 for a guava and rupees 12 for an apple. 15 fruits were purchased for rupees 72. Find the number of apples purchased. Okay, there are guavas and apples. Total there are 15 fruits, right? So we don't know how many are guavas out of them and how many are apples. But we can assume apples as x. So if apples are x, obviously guavas will be 15 minus x because total fruits are 15, right? So 15 minus x. Now they have given the rate also. Rate is how much? Rate guava is rupees 3, apple is rupees 12 for each one apple, right? So if we buy 15 minus x guavas at the rate of rupees 3 per guava, then how much will we spend? 3 into 15 minus x. Similarly here, 12x. Total amount spent they have given as 72. So this is the equation with one variable. Variable is this x here. So let's solve it. 3 into 15, 45 minus 3x plus 12x is equal to 72. Let's add this. 9x, 45 we will take it that side. So it will be minus 45. So 9x is equal to 27. So x is equal to 27 upon 9 that is 3. Now we have found out value of x. x is number of apples and number of guavas. So number of apples is x. So what have they asked? Find the number of apples purchased. So answer is 3 x is number of apples purchased. So, value of x is 3. Next sum also will appear on your screen. After subtracting one fifth of a number from its double, we get 32 more than the original number. Find the number. See students here, what they have written in English, we are supposed to understand properly and then convert, translate that into a mathematical language. Let's do it. See what are they saying after subtracting one fifth of a number. From what? From its double. We don't know the number. So we will assume number as x. Then we will read the sentence. After subtracting one fifth of a number from its double. So first make a double of it. Then subtract one fifth of a number. Then what do we get? We get 32 more than the original number. 32 more than original number. So, original number is there plus 32. This is the equation with one variable x. So, let us do it. See, 1 upon 5 into x means x upon 5. This is same as this, x upon 5. Now, here you need to be very very careful with the denominator. Everything has a denominator 1. So let's concentrate this on this side only. This is 1, so I have to make it 5. So into 5 on both the sides, numerator and denominator. So this is 10x upon 5 minus x upon 5. This is x plus 32. Right? Now we can combine 10x minus x because the denominator is same. x plus 32. I will write it here now. This 5, I will transfer it that side. Now this is 10x minus x is 9x. And this 5, I will take it that side. Here it is divided by 5, so there it will be multiplied by 5. 5 into x plus 32. So 9x is equal to 5x plus 160. Right? So, this 5x, we will shift it that side. 9x minus 5x is equal to 160. 
so 4x is equal to 160 so x is equal to 160 upon 4 that is 40 so original number which we had assumed as x we have got the value for that that is 40 so our answer is 40 see students here we are writing it step by step because we are practicing we are trying to understand what is this topic all about at the time of examination you should not write it so systematically because that will consume a lot of time which we cannot afford right okay so we should do it fast next sum will appear on your screen the sum of the ages of nanda and kanta x years before was 25 years what would be the sum of their ages y years later see x years before their sum was 25 x years before right so today if i want to find out this is x years before before if i want to find out today's age then what should i do see this is a total of kanta and nanda so after x years now this was before x years now x years have passed and we have come to today so x years means both these girls have grown for x years so their age will grow or uh, increase by x years so ye nanda ka aur ye kanta ka so that is 25 plus 2x right now they want us to find out after y years after y years again this is today's age anyway in that after y years both the girls age will increase by y years respectively nanda will grow y years as well as kanta so that is 25 plus 2x plus 2y here if you take only x and only y your answer is wrong because only nanda is going to be bigger and kanta is going to be same no both of them will grow right so we have to add for both dono ke liye alag alag so 2y so this is our answer 25 plus 2x plus 2y this is the answer next sum will appear on your screen 80 bits remained with swati after making 3 strings using 1 upon 4, 1 upon 2 and 1 upon 8 of the bits she had Find the number of bits used by Swati to make the three strings. See, she has made three strings with 1 upon 4 plus 1 upon 2, ye dusra wala aur ye 1 upon 8. So, total how many bits she has used for making three strings? If we add this, we will get that. Again, this is fraction. We need to find out the LCM. But 8 is the multiple of 2 also and 4 also. So LCM is 8. So let's make it 8 into 2 into 2 into 4 into 4. Everywhere I have to make 8 at the denominator. But here it is 8 already. So no change. So let's do it. 2 upon 8 plus 4 upon 8 plus 1 upon 8. Now we can add numerators by giving one denominator. So this is 7 upon 8. So 7 upon 8 bits are used by Swati to make 3 strings. So how many are remaining? Total is 8 upon 8 minus 7 upon 8. So remaining is remaining bits equal to 1 upon 8. 7 out of 8 are already over to make these 3 strings. So only 1 upon 8 bits are remaining which they are saying as 80 bits actually. Means this one part, this one part out of 8. One part is equal to 80 bits but total is down 8 parts. Must be how much? 80 into 8. 640 total bits 
please don't take this as a final answer because that is not the question which they have asked. They have asked then how many total bits she has used to make these three strings. Total she has used 7 upon 8. So we want 7 upon 8 of 640. 7 upon 8 into 640 upon 1. This is not required but I am writing just to avoid confusion. 80 into 7, 560 bits. This is our answer. If you choose this, gone. Two marks are gone even though you have done everything properly. Because this is not the one which they are asking. So always keep an eye on the final question which they have asked. They have asked find the number of bits used by Swati to make the three strings. So this is the total we have done here. So this part of the total they want. So we have calculated Okay, total bits to mila hai. So, this is very easy, isn't it? Okay. Let's go ahead. Students, see the next sum I have written on the board. They have given this equal to 2 upon 3. Find x. Now here, I am sure, what is troubling you all is this. Square root. So, let's remove that. Can I just rub it? No. How can I remove this square root sign? By making a square of this. If I am doing a square of this side, I have to or I must do the square of this side. When I do the square root ka square, what happens is this square root sign disappears and whatever is inside remains. And here it is 4 upon 9. Now here students make mistake by ignoring the denominator of this is 1. If you overlook this, your answer may be wrong. Please be careful when the terms are in decim uh, fraction. Okay? You have to make their denominators equal. How can I do that? Into 9 into 9. They are 9 already. So no tension. So 9 minus 9 upon 9 minus x upon 9 is equal to 4 upon 9. Now everywhere it is 9, 9, 9. So I can ignore. Now what is remaining is 9 minus x is equal to 4. This minus x I can take it that side so it becomes plus. This 4 I will take it this side if, by making it minus. So here it is. So 5 is equal to x. We have found out the value of x. Isn't it easy? Right? So interesting, right? Okay, next sum will appear on your screen. The present age of Sohan is 20 years more than the present age of Sachin. Three years hence, it will be thrice that of Sachin. Find the present age of Sohan. See students, again here it is just reading properly and translating it into mathematical language. That is your job. After you do that, solve that equation and find the value of x or whatever, whichever variable you use, right? Okay, chalo. What are they saying? The present age of Sohan. Let's write the names Sohan and Sachin. What are they saying? Sohan age, present age is 20 years more than the present age of Sachin. Unless and until I know Sachin's age, I won't be able to find out Sohan's age. So let's assume this as x. So this is x plus 20. Okay. Now 3 years hence, this is present. Present age, what we have written. Now 3 years hence. Means 3 saal ke baad. Obviously this will be x plus 20 plus 3. And he will be x plus 3. Plus 3 plus 3 on both the sides. So this will be x plus 23. This will be x plus 3 anyway. Now, 3 years hence it will be thrice the age of Sachin. Now these are the ages of both the boys after 3 years. Now they have given the relationship between these two ages. They are saying after 3 years Sohan's age will be 3 times Sachin's age. So write down. Translate this into mathematical language. X plus 23 is 3 times. Times means into. X plus 3. Here it is into, right? 
x plus 3. So let's solve it now. Now intellectual job is over. Now you have to be carefully uh, solve this. Nothing else. 3x, ye x minus karke udar leke gaye. To 2x bacha idar. 9 will be minus here. So 23 minus 9 is 14. x is equal to 14 upon 2. That is 7. So here value of x is 7. Do they want this 7 or what? See the final question. Find the present age of Sohan. See, x is Sachin's age. If you choose option where 7 is written, gone. 2 marks gone. They don't want Sachin's age. They want Sohan's back to present age. Sometimes they may ask 3 years wala age, 2 saal piche wala age, kuch bhi they can, anything they can ask. Once you have the value of x, you will be able to find out anything, right? Now in this case they have asked what is the present age of Sohan. Present age of Sohan is x plus 20. So x is 7 plus 20. That is 27 years. So our answer is 27 years. This topic is relatively easy. Right? You have to solve the equation with one variable. Very very easy part of your syllabus. So this questions mark should be in your pocket. At any cost you should not leave these questions. Attempt them, solve them properly. Okay? Students, we are through with this topic now. In case you have any queries, doubts, you all know. You can put them in the comment section. I am ready to answer them. Students, if you enjoy my videos, then please share them with more and more students. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel in case you have not done so far. I will come with the next video very very soon. Till then, what are you supposed to do? Yes, study well. And very important thing is, enjoy studying. Bye.